FBA Sri Lanka, the pioneer in providing sexual and reproductive health services and information to the Sri Lankan community, is an accredited member of the International Planned Parenthood Federation. Over the years, FBA Sri Lanka has been providing a range of services in the field of sexual and reproductive health and is the market leader in providing access to safe, effective and reliable contraceptives to the Sri Lankan public. There is growing recognition of the public health burden resulting from sexual and gender-based violence and the need for the health sector to identify and support abused women in Sri Lanka. Structural inequalities and gender norms underpin sexual and gender-based violence. The socio-ecological model was used for understanding sexual and gender-based violence and to identify interventions for GBV prevention and respond at individual, family, relationship, community and society levels. Services provided by FBA Sri Lanka include counseling and information on gender, sexuality, relationships, sexual and gender-based violence, and all aspects of sexual health through static and mobile clinics, demand generation programs, and community health volunteer visits. FPA Sri Lanka initiated a GBV program at its head office clinic and its service delivery points around the country in 2012. Firstly, a stakeholder meeting was held about initiating a GBV screening process at our clinics and the importance of establishing linkages with other government and non-governmental organizations working on GBV for referral and specialized services like legal aid and shelter. A capacity building workshop was held to improve the knowledge, skills and attitudes of healthcare providers of FPA Sri Lanka including doctors, nurses and counsellors on how to identify survivors and manage them with a rights-based approach. We also sensitized FPA Sri Lanka's head office administrators, centre managers and even the security personnel to provide a more gender-sensitive service. Leaflets and posters were developed in local languages and were distributed in all FBA Sri Lanka clinics to make clients aware of this specialized service. Guidelines, protocols and screening tools were developed in order to enable our service providers to identify GBV survivors and provide non-judgmental and gender-sensitive services. Health sector in Sri Lanka is well recognized in the Southeast Asian region for its favorable response to gender-based violence. We in the health sector address gender-based violence by concentrating on the areas of prevention as well as the response to survivors of GBV. As gender-based violence needs multi-sectoral response, a collaboration and a partnership should be established between the stakeholders who address gender-based violence both in the government and the non-government sector. As such, Family Planning Association is also a stakeholder that we work closely with on this aspect. I think that the Family Planning Association would be able to enhance their supportive services by linking with the government health sector, which also would enable the sustainability of the services provided. We are an organization providing all the essential support services and strategic interventions to the victims of gender-based violence. We are associated with Family Planning Association from the very inception of their gender-based violence screening project. We have provided the necessary training, especially in the area of legal, legal well, the laws pertaining to women, judicial process and the other services that can be obtained from women in need for victims of violence. So these include the legal advice, legal services, court representation, shelter, etc. We supported Family Planning Association in the initial stages by providing the necessary training in these aspects. 
we still continue to support them by providing legal services to the women and victims of violence. Shani, 35 years, on a family planning method, visited the clinic three times or more with vague and non-specific complaints within the first six months of 2013. She was treated with medication during all these visits and was sent back, reassuring that she will be fine with the treatment. At her fourth visit to the clinic, the doctor inquired about violence at home, taking a very subtle approach by asking a few non-judgmental and non-direct questions. She was relieved to answer these questions and said, that she was awaiting for someone to ask about her family life and opened up with many issues related to her husband and her in-laws. She revealed that her husband was doing a good job providing for the family, not an alcoholic or smoker, but gets angry and aggressive for no apparent reason. Screening for gender-based violence is an important component of the health sector response in any country. Universal screening, that is asking each and every patient about violence, is uh, not practiced in mon many countries and many settings due to various constraints that most of our countries have. However, selective screening, that is asking selected patients or, or patients attending selected departments is a very effective and a productive way of identifying survivors of uh, violence. Antenatal clinics, accident and emergency departments, family planning clinics are uh, well-known areas in which this is practiced. Family Planning Association of Sri Lanka has utilized the opportunities afforded at their family planning clinic to conduct a very successful screening program. The doctor explained that everyone has the right to live a safe and a happy life and that no one should experience violence. She emphasized that it was not due to any fault of hers that she was experiencing violence. She further stressed that violence should not be a means of solving problems or venting out one's frustration. And there are better ways to solve family issues. Discussing about the problem would be a better option. And when discussions fail, you can seek help from someone who has the knowledge and expertise to assist you. As a service provider, we can screen, support, treat, document, inform and refer GBV survivors.
she is then referred to the counselor at Alo Care. She initially refuses to go, saying that if the husband gets to know she confided with the staff at the clinic, the violence will increase and she will not be allowed to visit the clinic again. After explaining to her that all what she discloses will be kept confidential at all times and talking to a professional will ease her mind, she agrees to meet the counsellor who was also placed within the clinic. The counsellor takes time to relax her and puts her mind at ease and then slowly discusses her family problems. She uses a detailed screening tool to assess the level of violence and asks her to come again next time, if possible, with her husband. Though Shani goes home with some mental relief, she was not sure if she could take her husband to the clinic the next time. Though she could not take her husband to the clinic, she goes for follow-up counselling sessions and finally is able to convince her husband also to visit Alo Care with her. As the Honorary President of the Family Planning Association of Sri Lanka, I strongly support all action that is being taken to eliminate gender-based violence in our country. Sri Lanka has a very high rate of gender-based violence. We should not tolerate this. We should do all we can to find out, to help the victims and to bring the perpetrators to justice. We will do everything we can to support the women and to make sure that the perpetrators are not only brought to justice, but that they will be helped to prevent any future activities in this area. Mm -hmm.